Hey, it's Chris with Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom. About five months ago, I started my very own worm composting bin, and today I'd like to give you an update on it. Welcome to A Minute with a Guy Who Thinks Everyone Should Have a Garden. Just to remind you, when I started my worm composting bin, I just got two plastic totes, I drilled holes into the bottom of the top end, and I put a cooler drain into the bottom one to drain out any of that yummy worm juice. Up to this point, I've not had any liquid in that bottom bin so far, and so I think you could do this with only having the one bin. About five months ago, I got this set up and I ordered a quarter pound of red wiggler worms. If you remember from my previous video, I added the worms with, with, to this bin with a handful of compost and some shredded up newspaper. Since then, I've added food to these worms every single week, uh, and we'll see how things look inside this bin after five months. All right, so here's what the inside of our worm bin looks like. So you'll notice I use shredded newspaper. I get one newspaper actually, and it's a weekly newspaper called Farm Week from Illinois Farm Bureau. And so my worm bedding is exclusively uh, utilizing Farm Week newspaper. So if I pull away that newspaper, you can start to see the worms have created all of this by decompo decomposing our kitchen scraps. So as I move this around, you can see this is full of all sorts of different size worms in here. So here you can see this is part of an apple that I placed in here just a couple days ago. So I don't really pay too close of attention to how much food I'm adding. I try to add something every week. Uh, and then I've noticed as the worms have multiplied in here, I need to add more and more food to keep them having something to eat. And it's kind of amazing how quickly they decompose the things that we put in here. So typically you wanna chop up the food into small pieces. Um, I've kind of experimented with that. And at one point I put an entire peach in here and within a week they had completely uh, taken away that peach pit and all, it was completely gone after a week. And so it's not super necessary to do a lot to, to to help them out, they pretty much have it under control to de decomposing and eating all this uh, plant matter. As you know, I'm a guy who thinks that everyone should have a garden, but I'm also a guy who thinks that everyone should have a compost pile. And no, I'm not gonna start another video series called A Minute with a Guy Who Thinks Everyone Should Have a Compost Pile, so quit asking. But there are lots of different ways that you can compost at your house. We have chickens, we give a lot of kitchen scraps to our chickens, we give some to our worms, and then we also have a compost pile behind our shed as well. No matter where you live or uh, how much space you have, there's all sorts of ways that we could compost and not throw our food scraps into landfills. We can use them to make our soil richer and to increase organic matter in areas where we're trying to grow flowers or food. If you're on the fence, let me be the first to recommend. A worm composter has a place in your home or in your classroom. It's fun, it's fascinating, and it's a great way to use up food scraps in a way that benefits the earth as well.